Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Patrick Widholm, head of school at Benjamin Franklin High School, and it is my honor to welcome you to this, the 61st graduation from Ben Franklin High School. It's my privilege also to welcome to this celebration a remarkable group of individuals who over the past four years, and especially the past few months, have become the unforgettable class of 2020. I would like to thank those who worked above and beyond to create this celebration and tribute to the class of 2020. Mr. Todd Owens from Jostens, Mr. Lapushin and Ms. Reinhardt, Mr. Paraka, Ms. Reed and Ms. Payton, and your class sponsors, Mr. Weissman, Ms. Youngblood, and Ms. Foley. And especially thank you to the senior class officers, Kaisa Coker, May Tran, Tyla Allen, and Allison Lee, who has served as your president all four years. I would also like to recognize members of the school's governing board and faculty and staff who have a child in this class of 2020. Board member Alan Miller is proud of his daughter, Faith. The board parent representative, Charmaine Cooper Hussein, is proud of her son, Simon. Security guard Henry Davis is proud of daughter, Diamond. And Spanish teacher, Ms. Alcariza, is proud of her son, William Devlin. Let's recognize and congratulate the class of 2020 salutatorian, Joaquim Gomez, and valedictorian, David Zhang. Finally, seniors, class of 2020, please join me in taking a few moments to extend our thanks to two very important and special groups. Your parents, grandparents, family have been partners in your success, the success that you are enjoying today. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I say thank you to them for sharing you with us these past several years. And secondly, the faculty. The faculty of Benjamin Franklin High School is second to none anywhere. Faculty and staff, I thank you for the instruction, nurture, challenge, and encouragement that you have provided to this class. Thank you for your dedication to the best students in our city. And now to continue our program, please welcome the one, the only, Allison Lee. My name is Allison Lee, and it's been a privilege and an honor to serve as the president of the class of 2020 for the past four years. We all imagined today would look different. We all imagined getting the picture perfect ending that we deserve. But even though the picture looks a little different, we still come together to celebrate. Celebrate each other, our hard work, and our accomplishments. There's no doubt that the class of 2020 will be written in the history books. The class of 2020. We've created a reputation for ourselves. Our reputation is that of enthusiasm, endurance, excellence, and empathy. We are applauded for our abundant achievements. We are put on display for the rest of Louisiana to marvel at. We are celebrated for being one of the best classes Franklin has ever seen. But as people sing our praises and we reap the benefits of our hard work, we remember the challenges we endured. The late nights, the 10 plus page study guides, the frustration, the stress that made our legs shake and hands sweat, and getting second place in Spear Week our freshman year when we should have gotten first. It feels surreal to think of how we've overcome every single hurdle to get to today. We've persevered. And we also had the privilege of learning from each other. 
a group that is diverse when we consider all of the different communities we grew up in, the middle schools we attended, and our city and state. There's a privilege in proximity. We've come to learn about each other's real life stories, struggles, and cultures containing tangible emotions and nuances that couldn't be conveyed or learned if we hadn't come together to share. And we should never stop sharing. We should never stop learning from others, from people who look different, who act different, who speak differently from us. We should never be comfortable with what we know. We're good at challenging ourselves. It's a hallmark of being a Franklin student. So I hope we continue to challenge what we know, educate ourselves and others, become allies to one another, and inspire those around us to do the same. I would also like to take time to thank the people who have supported us thus far. Our friends who listened to us when we needed and dedicated their love, time, and support, who have given us our best high school memories. Our teachers who gave us knowledge, perspective, laughs, maybe even tears, but when we needed it, hope. Our parents, grandparents, and guardians who have raised and supported us 18 long years, who have been the ones to give us the privilege of pursuing a high quality education, who have been a cherished part of our journey. Our siblings, if you have them, who we annoy but who are annoying, who we tease and fight with, who at the end of the day may be the ones to truly understand us. For all of my junior year, one of my greatest supporters, my grandpa Sonny, he always ended a phone call with me with this Korean proverb. At the end of hardship comes happiness. In this unprecedented time, we are the first class to graduate without a prom, without baccalaureate, without commencement, and via drive-through graduation. But we're persevering. No matter what we'll face in these next few years and beyond, we know that we will come out stronger and brighter. The world is in constant need of new leaders and new ideas. The world needs us. And if we're brave enough to take on this challenge, we'll be on our way to becoming the picture of success we've always dreamt of. We'll remain a generation with the reputation of enthusiasm, endurance, excellence, and empathy. We will now have members of our faculty and staff present a series of awards to outstanding members of the class of 2020. Hello, I am John Peralta, Franklin's alumni coordinator. It is my pleasure to present the Garber Guichard Award. This award carries with it a $500 stipend donated by an anonymous benefactor. This award represents the concept and purpose behind Franklin's founding. It is named after Naomi Garberg, Franklin's first principal and intellectual foundation, and Mildred Guichard, the school's longtime caring guidance counselor that helped students balance academic demands with the rest of their lives. Both of these women were instrumental in ensuring the success of Franklin those years. The recipient exhibits an inquisitive mind, a zest for learning, intellectual maturity, including the willingness to entertain and value the ideas and contribution of others, creativity and imagination, willingness to seize opportunities and benefit from the experience, and academic achievement, things many Franklin students exhibit on a day-to-day -day basis. This year's winner was a unanimous decision. This student was described as not only having a zest for learning and inquisitive mind, but also the kindest person at Franklin. 
One teacher mentioned that they overheard in the hallway a student say to the recipient, you're too good for this world. Since I taught this young person, I know that they always had a smile on and said hello to everyone. I know this student will make the world a better place. I'm proud to present this year's Garberg Guichard Award to Domla Ustinaz. Good morning, I'm Katie Quincy, and I have the distinct honor of presenting three awards on behalf of the Benjamin Franklin High School Science Department to the class of 2020. These awards are in honor of three Franklin alumni who are no longer with us, but whose legacies live on through extraordinary students like you. The Siegfried B. Christensen IV Memorial Chemistry Scholarship was established by Siegfried's mother, Rowana Christensen. She chose to endow the scholarship to celebrate Sieg's life, passion for learning, and his academic success, the basis of which came from his outstanding education that he received here at Benjamin Franklin High School. He was truly a remarkable Franklin alumnus. Dr. Christensen passed away in 2011, leaving a legacy of innovation and a positive global impact. This year's winner took some of the most difficult science and math courses offered at Franklin. His independent research took him to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in 2018 and 2019, as well as the National Junior Science and Humanities Symposium. He is one of the leaders of our award-winning robotics team. He truly embodies this award. On behalf of the Christensen family and the Benjamin Franklin High School Science Department, I'm pleased to present the 2020 Siegfried B. Christensen IV Memorial Chemistry Scholarship to Joaquin Gomez. The annual Wyatt Tyler Environmental Justice Award is given to a Franklin senior who's excelled in AP Environmental Science and has demonstrated a commitment to environmental and social justice issues outside of the classroom. The recipient is selected by a committee of Benjamin Franklin Science faculty. The award is bestowed in memory of Wyatt Devin Tyler, a 2013 Benjamin Franklin graduate who passed away on March 25, 2017. Wyatt was a curious, inspiring, and deeply critical thinker whose passion for politics as well as environmental and social justice blossomed at, blossomed at Franklin. The Wyatt Tyler Environmental Justice Award seeks to carry forward the work and legacy of this passionate and courageous young man. The award aims to inspire a generation of socially conscious and empathy-driven activists to leave behind a more equitable society. This year's winners have worked tirelessly to engage with state and local leaders about environmental issues plaguing southeastern Louisiana. They've spoken at city council hearings, hosted environmental forums for state representatives, and even managed to engage with those leaders via Zoom while we were sheltering at home. On behalf of the Tyler family and the Benjamin Franklin High School Science Department, I'm pleased to present the 2020 Wyatt Tyler Environmental Justice Scholarship to both Shri Narayana Morthy and Ella Stolier. The first annual Amani Edwards Biology Award um, is awarded to a Franklin senior who excelled in AP Biology and shares Amani's passion for the natural world. The recipient is selected by a committee of Benjamin Franklin Science faculty. The award is bestowed in memory of Amani Edwards, a 2018 Benjamin Franklin graduate who passed away in 2019. Amani excelled in AP Environmental Science and AP Biology while at Franklin. Not only was she capable of breaking down complex topics so that she could relate them to the natural world around her, but she was the type of student that always made sure her classmates understood them too. Not only was she intellectually curious, but she was incredibly kind. She frequently volunteered to stay after school to clean up after a lab or feed the class pets. It is important to Omani's family that the inaugural award be given to someone who the, life, to, who the science faculty believed shared Amani's passion for the life sciences and embodied her generous spirit. On behalf of the Edwards family and the Benjamin Franklin High School Science Department, I'm pleased to present the 2020 Amani Edwards Biology Award to Dejanay Jenkins.
afternoon. I'm Allison Bent, Ben Franklin's Chief Financial Officer. I have the distinct honor to present the Michael Masterson Computer Science Scholarship in commemoration of his passion for computer science and to recognize an exemplary student's work in this field. Mr. Masterson was a Franklin faculty member from August 2013 until his passing in May of 2018. Michael dedicated his life to education, serving students from diverse backgrounds, including China, California, Louisiana, and even his home state, Michigan. He taught physics, computer science, and math at the high school and university levels. In addition to teaching, he was a contributing editor for the nationally acclaimed Pearson Calculus AP edition textbook published in 2017. He held degrees in physics, mathematics, and digital electronics technology. Mr. Masterson was also an accomplished musician who played guitar, violin, flute, and even the dulcimer in various bands throughout his lifetime. During his time at Franklin, he dedicated himself to advocating for teachers while building collaborative bridges within the school community. He, is, he was instrumental in organizing the United Teachers of Franklin and represented BFHS faculty as a featured speaker at the 2016 National Charter School Con Conference. This year's award recipient was described by Mr. Eady as someone who consistently shows enthusiasm not only for programming and robotics, but also helping her peers. In addition to participating in every computer science related activity, she played multiple sports. Coach Haley described her as hardworking and always looking for ways to learn more and improve her skills. On behalf of the Masterson family and Benjamin Franklin High School, I am pleased to present the 2020 Michael Masterson Scholarship to Olivia Dudart. The Carmen White Arts and Theater Scholarships will be awarded to Franklin seniors who have excelled in and demonstrated a passion for theater, singing, and the arts. The recipients were selected by faculty members in the Ben Franklin Art Department. The $500 awards will be bestowed in memory of Carmen White, a 1996 Franklin graduate who passed away on March 9th, 2019 after a long battle with cancer. Carmen was a talented artist who never hesitated to share her gifts with those around her. She had the voice of an angel, booming and beautiful. She was charming, witty, and kind and always found a way to put a smile on the faces of those around her. Carmen's love affair with singing began early on and continued through adulthood. She had roles on television and in feature films and performed in musical theater productions around the world. We'll never forget Carmen and we'll never stop wondering how someone with such a squeaky voice when she spoke could belt out such powerful vocals when she graced the stage. We will miss her always, but we're thankful that so many people stepped forward to let her legacy shine onto others. We are proud to award the following four seniors with $500 scholarships each. Isaiah Carter, Jazz Montez, Michael Perkins, and Quinn Russell. Congratulations. Benjamin Franklin Athletic Association Coaches Distinguished Athlete Awards. All seniors that played two or more sports for two or more years are eligible for this award. The coaches selected one male and one female from the pool of candidates. Each will receive a trophy and a $100 gift card to the college bookstore at the university that they will attend. Their names are engraved on a permanent award plaque that is displayed alongside the trophy case. Being an athlete is about more than winning games. It's about leadership and character, perseverance and dedication, coachability and improvement, teamwork and sportsmanship. These two award recipients have exemplified these attributes throughout their years at Franklin. Our female recipient, Yana Fielko, played volleyball and soccer. I would like to share some words from Coach Jody describing Yana. Yana most probably has been the hardest athlete I've had the pleasure to coach. She is not easy to read and rarely shares information to at least lead me in the right direction. To compound the issue, she is one of the best goalies in the nation. 
and this really doesn't transfer to volleyball. However, what does is her tenacity, competitiveness, commitment, and relentless need to be the best. These qualities make her a special player and one that will be hard to replace. I'm proud of Yana, and I can say she left the volleyball program and me better than before she stepped in the gym at Franklin. Congrats, Yana, and the Philco family. Coach Jose had this to say about Yana. Yana holds herself to the highest standards on and off the playing field. This is one of the reasons we made it to the state finals. She leads by example and always gives her all in everything she does. Yana is one of the most talented goalkeepers to ever grace our program. Yana's example of leadership, balance, and excellence has made me very proud of her. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this young lady. From me. I think back to the numerous conversations I had with Arnie about Yana possibly coming to Franklin before they moved back to New Orleans. It seems like yesterday, but here we are years later and Yana is graduating. Boy, am I glad it all worked out and we got Yana. Her determination, competitiveness, and sheer will to win was never more evident than at the soccer state championship game this year. After being injured and barely able to walk, Yana finished the game, then played through penalty kicks. Although we did not win the championship, Yana was still selected the game MVP. That does not happen very often, and it shows just how special Yana is. I know she's left her mark on Franklin Athletics, and we are fortunate to have had an athlete with her heart, determination, and character play for us. I know she will go on to do great things. Our male recipient, Isaiah Travis, played football and ran track. I would like to share some words from Coach Wiley describing Isaiah. When it comes to Isaiah, two words come to mind, compact and multi-talented. They kind of fit together. Although Isaiah is not very big in stature, he has a lot of talent fit into his frame. He ran track and played football. I believe his best event in track was the 800 meter, which is a middle distance race. But in football, he was a sprinter. He was not only the fastest on the team, he also played many positions. He played receiver, running back, and quarterback on offense, and defensive back on defense. He also returned punts and kickoffs. He excelled all of those positions. He also excelled in the classroom. I believe he finished with over a 3.5 GPA and was recognized as a scholar athlete by the Sugar Bowl Committee. I am confident that Isaiah will use his many talents to continue his success in the future. I wish him all the best. Coach KC had this message for Isaiah. Congratulations, Isaiah. Super proud of you, kid. Couldn't think of anyone else more deserving of this award. Hard worker, eats, sleeps, and breathes championship status. Probably the greatest 800-meter runner to come out of New Orleans. It's freaky that he doesn't even know his full potential. But man, when it clicks, look out, world, look out. Once you believe and trust your heart and talent like I do, then nothing can stop you from succeeding in life or in any sport you decide to do in the future. Stay true, stay strong, and be fearless, baby, baby bro. Congrats again, Coach KC. From me, when watching Isaiah compete, I never saw him show any sign of panic. He knew what needed to be done and did it time and time again. I witnessed firsthand how dynamic and elusive Isaiah is on the field. I was standing on the sideline at Jefferson Playground this year when he scored four touchdowns against Ridgewood. He put the team on his back and carried us to victory. Isaiah is a highly ranked 800 meter runner and had multiple scholarship offers. He accepted a scholarship to run track at UNC where I know he will leave his mark and continue to impress his coaches. Congrats to both of these outstanding athletes on this well-deserved award. It is my honor to ask Miss Margaret Foley, class of 2002, and Miss Kate Youngblood, class of 2009, two of our class sponsors, to present the Franklin Key Award. Thanks for the introduction. As two of your class sponsors and Ben Franklin alumni, we have the honor of presenting the Key Award this year. This award is given annually at graduation to the Franklin Senior who, by a vote of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, best exemplifies the broad-based excellence exhibited by the life of Benjamin Franklin. Nominations were submitted by faculty and members of the senior class. Attributes considered in choosing the recipient are their scholastic achievement, civic responsibility, practical knowledge and application, leadership, school loyalty, artistic and athletic talent, 
and the mutual respect of and regard for classmates. This award comes with a $1,000 honorarium. This year's recipient went through their four years with a seemingly endless desire to make Franklin a better place. A great student and leader, this person was unwilling to accept good or okay as adjectives to describe Franklin and its community. They are a leader in the best possible sense, empowering those around them to advocate for necessary change. This student committed themselves to service and kindness, going above and beyond to make everyone at Franklin feel valued, from their peers to their teachers to the staff in the front office. This student is guided by the belief that we benefit from celebrating others, and so we are so thrilled to be able to celebrate this student today. We are so happy to announce that the recipient of this year's Key Award is Allison Lee. Congratulations. Mr. Donald Jackson, our operations assistant principal, will now present the top 10 honors awards. And now seniors of the class of 2020, here are your top 10 graduates. These students have earned the highest cumulative grade point average during their entire high school career. We applaud you for your determined endeavors and your academic achievement. And now, Number 10, Olympia Rose Baldwin Edwards. Number nine, Quinn Avery Russell. Number eight, Zoe Swazi Batterman. Number seven, Dejeuner Amani Rayan Jenkins. Number six, Ashley. Me win. Number five, Emily Rednall Smither. Number four, Tommaso Harry Dire. Number three, Allison Hasu Lee. Number two, our salutatorium, Joaquin Alejo Gomez. And for your valedictorian number one in the class of 2020, it's David Econ Zhang. I would now like to introduce our academic assistant principal, Mr. David Barris, who will confer the degrees. Good morning or afternoon, graduates, parents, family members, friends, faculty, and staff. Thank you, Allison, for your inspirational message. You've been an exceptional leader for an exceptional class. The class of 2020 does not deserve this truncated senior year and virtual graduation, just as humanity does not deserve this terrible virus. But try to remember what almost every self-help book teaches us, that while we cannot control all the events in our lives, we can control our reactions to them. I encourage you to approach this challenging time and the next phase in your life with the same attitude and approach you had the last four years at Franklin. Celebrate the good and seek to fix or improve the parts that you see broken. Dr. Whitholm, it is my honor to commend these graduates to you and certify that they have met the standards for the diplomas that they are seeking, as verified by my colleagues on the Benjamin Franklin High School faculty. Please confer upon them the diplomas they have earned and that they so richly deserve. Congratulations, graduates. Allison Heiso Lee, Class President, Summa Cum Laude. David Yujing Zhang, Valedictorian, Summa Cum Laude. Joaquin Alejo Gomez, Salutatorian, Summa Cum Laude. Naomi Corrine Adler, magna cum laude. Ajinumwa Samora Akinlana.
Gabriel Alexander Allen, magna cum laude. Jada Sierra Allen, magna cum laude. Kyla Janae Allen. Antonio Don Alphonse Jr., magna cum laude. Talia Kane Altman, magna cum laude. Olympia Rose Baldwin Edwards, summa cum laude. Steven Baldup Trunk, summa cum laude. Liliana Christina Barahona. Annalena Barnes, summa cum laude. Aaliyah Larray Bartley. Zoe Theodor Batman, summa cum laude. Jordan Nelson Bennett. Hannah Grace Diala, summa cum laude. Catherine Blanche Blackburn, summa cum laude. Marley Lee Lausch, magna cum laude. Blake Alexandria Bordeaux. Elise Renee Bourgeois, summa cum laude. Tori Anthony Bovey Jr. Bridget Antoinette Bowman, summa cum laude. Ethan Tyler Braden. Sophie Wilson Brewer, magna cum laude. Tyron Anthony Bridges, magna cum laude. Christopher Lionel Brown Jr., magna cum laude. Naesa Nicole Brunswick Jones. Leah Zoe Carpenter, magna cum laude. Rebecca Isabel Carrillo, summa cum laude. Bryce Nasir Carter, summa cum laude. Isaiah Gerard Carter. Tasia Terion Carter, magna cum laude. Lila Valentine Carver, summa cum laude.
Jacqueline Mariel Casey. Miles Griffin Casey Flores. Elena Janae Celestine. Jordan Marie Chapman. Adam Marie Natalie Chavez. Amen Abdulhami Chima, Summa Cum Laude. Emma Cho, Summa Cum Laude. Kristen Connie Clark. Gwyneth Louise Clark, Magna Cum Laude. Isabel Ainsley Collins, Summa Cum Laude. Gabriel Louise Contreras. Philip Durbin Coolidge, Summa Cum Laude. Cameron Elizabeth Cote, Magna Cum Laude. Caleb Joseph Cummings Dyke, Summa Cum Laude. Melanie Chloe Cutnell. Diamond Dion Davis. Diamond is the daughter of staff member Henry Davis. Isaac Norris Davis. Marie Pascal de la Bousse, summa cum laude. William Alexander Devlin, magna cum laude. William is the son of faculty member Laura Alcariza. Talina Tui Nui T. Den, magna cum laude. Tommaso Harry D. Ray, summa cum laude. Andy Ming Dat Do. Olivia Marie Dodar, magna cum laude. Lotus Karen Drada, Magna Cum Laude. Robert Cena Dunning. Kaylin Mylan Zhuang. Quinn Tu Zhuang, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Dyer, Magna Cum Laude. Trinity Joseph Ellsworth, Summa Cum Laude. Jasmine Elizabeth Alnagar, 
summa cum laude. Aaron Von Earhart. Tara Marie Iyer, summa cum laude. Theodore Jeff Fang, magna cum laude. Andrew Nelson Farnsworth, magna cum laude. Colin Pratt Farnsworth. Shira Anna Fielto, magna cum laude. Jack Henry Fisher. Sydney Elena Fleming. Imani Elizabeth Flurry. Michelle Fong, summa cum laude. Isaiah Aliyah Gabriel. Hayden Vaughn Dinkendorf, magna cum laude. Brian Kunming Gao, magna cum laude. Raven Alyssa Garcia. Ivy Marie Garrison, summa cum laude. Julia Ann Garrison, magna cum laude. Caitlin Lee Gelman, summa cum laude. Kennedy Lisa George, magna cum laude. Peyton Michael Gibson. Taj Giovanni Gill. Gabriella Amber Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Ariel Elise Grillier. Madeline K. Grizzoli. Zari Alexandra Hamilton. Lynn Mary Hamill, magna cum laude. Angel Emma Lou Clarion Harper. Mashai Malik Harris, magna cum laude. Janelle Imani Hendrick. Stone Hayden Erba, summa cum laude. Trent 
Mintry Fox. Luca Andreas Max Hoffman. Sophia Elizabeth Howell. Ella Rose Hutt, Magna Cum Laude. Simon Gabriel Hussein, Magna Cum Laude. Simon is the son of board member Charmaine Cooper Hussein. Harem Isam, Magna Cum Laude. Aria Lee Ayuso, Magna Cum Laude. Jaden Rashawn Jackson, Summa Cum Laude. Willie Kendall Jackson Jr. Marvin Jacobs. Paris Renee James, Magna Cum Laude. Trevor Merrick Romero James, Magna Cum Laude. Zena Amani Jefferson. Cameron Malia Jenkins, Magna Cum Laude. Dejane Amani Rayon Jenkins, Summa Cum Laude. Gia Elizabeth Johnson. Gian Marriott Johnson. Mylan Elizabeth Johnson. Camille Janelle Dupre Jones. Tierra Jones, Magna Cum Laude. India Akia Jordan, Magna Cum Laude. Naila Amila Raha Joshua, Magna Cum Laude. Kaisa Noor Coker, Magna Cum Laude. Richard Thomas Kiko. Shania Akia King. Sheila Jacqueline Klein, Magna Cum Laude. Nikolai Lagarde Kozina. Lucy Elizabeth Kraus, Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Inez Lacayo. Adia Amidio Lacay, Magna Cum Laude.
Amy Louise Lee, magna cum laude. Juan Huang Lee, summa cum laude. Tam Chi Lee. Nigel Lowell LeBlanc, Jr. Erica Lee, summa cum laude. Shania Jamira Lydell. Sarah Gretchen Lloyd, summa cum laude. Teresa Marie Lattner. Kevin Luke, summa cum laude. Varen Elijah Mack. Sophia Young Chow Marcia Fama. Danielle Haley Markowitz, summa cum laude. Samantha Faith Markowitz, summa cum laude. Sarah Louise Rain Marler, summa cum laude. Ray Roan McCreary. Gerard Thaddeus McDonald. Beth Weldon Michael, summa cum laude. Faith Ray Miller. Faith is the daughter of board member Alan Miller. Mariah Gabriella Milan. Magna cum laude. Bruce Andrew Malazon. Miguel Alejandro Molina, magna cum laude. Jazz Leonard Montez, summa cum laude. Trinity Centrell Myers, magna cum laude. Maya Neve Maya. Rangashri Narayana Morphy, summa cum laude. Graham Hayes Nash. Jayla Dene Neko. Alyssa Wong Wei, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Truck Louis Wei, Summa Cum Laude. Anthony Tang Wei. Ashley Ni Wei. 
Sumo Cum Laude. Han Andy Wei, Sumo Cum Laude. Wong Austin Wen, Magna Cum Laude. John Cal Kun Wen, Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Noctram Wen, Magna Cum Laude. Mary Ann Wen, Magna Cum Laude. Summer Wit, Magna Cum Laude. Paul Martin Craig Oramos, Magna Cum Laude. Armand Alberto Orihuela. John Milliken Parker, Summa Cum Laude. Daitia Joy Patterson, Magna Cum Laude. James Royden Peabody V, Magna Cum Laude. Michael Anthony Perkins. Andrea B. Chu Bass, Summa Cum Laude. Anthony Qui Bass, Magna Cum Laude. Lillian Blair Pickering, Magna Cum Laude. Christiana Marie Porter, Magna Cum Laude. Yehuda Benjamin Potash, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Kinsley Puckett, Summa Cum Laude. Bruce Ty Quash, Summa Cum Laude. Emerson Allen Skelton Ray. James Lachlan Ramsey, Summa Cum Laude. Sydney Marie Randall, Magna Cum Laude. Jaya Jarde Richardson. Madison Elizabeth Roberts. Brianna Alexia Robinson, Magna Cum Laude. Trinity Marie Rogers, Magna Cum Laude. Faith Marie Rolfe. Gianna Irene Romano, Summa Cum Laude. Robert Cleveland Romero. Quinn 
Avery Russell, summa cum laude. Alejandra Su Sudegi Moon, summa cum laude. Christian Foster Salati. Isadora Hannah Scherer Perkins. Tamara Schechtsneider, Magna Cum Laude. Jonas Ives Schmidt, Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Graham Scott. Camille Francine Champ, summa cum laude. Jamil Hakim Umar Sharif Jr., magna cum laude. Hayden Carswell Sharp, Magna Cum Laude. Benjamin John Singer, Summa Cum Laude. Elena Grace Slaypack, Magna Cum Laude. Calista Paige Smith, summa cum laude. David Jose Smith. Emily Rednell Smither, summa cum laude. Amina Zafara Stoller. Anna Elizabeth Seven, summa cum laude. Ella Claire Solier, magna cum laude. Jordan Andrew Tate. Atitan Umar Teria, Magna Cum Laude. Jaslyn Ari Tolliver. Wang An A Tran, Magna Cum Laude. Wang Tan Tran, Magna Cum Laude. John Tian Tran, Magna Cum Laude. Justin Fu Tran, Magna Cum Laude. Maggie Diem Cho Tran, Summa Cum Laude. Mizun C. Tran, Magna Cum Laude. Karen Noctree Tran, summa cum laude. Teresa Yen Tran. Tin Not Tran.
Victoria Ming Tao Tran, magna cum laude. Isaiah Joseph Travis, magna cum laude. Jalen Tamia Underwood. Eric Joseph Usen, Jr. Damala Ustanzos, summa cum laude. Nicholas James Verastegi. Emily Grace Zane, summa cum laude. Ethan Alexander Wachtel. Elizabeth Ann Wagner, magna cum laude. Joseph Vincent Wagner, summa cum laude. Philip Seamus Wagner, magna cum laude. Kaya Day Ward. Isabella Marie Wax, summa cum laude. Jennifer Aria Webb, summa cum laude. Maya Janae Weber, magna cum laude. Brant McCulloch Whitaker. Jayla Marie White. Candace Nicole Williams. Taya Janae Williams. Ori Amelie Wilson. Lacey Odessa Wisdom, summa cum laude. Joshua Wenjun Wu, summa cum laude. Olivia Sage Watke, summa cum laude. Ming Ji, summa cum laude. Graduates, please rise, wearing your mortarboard. To all those present as witness to this declaration, in accordance with the authority given me by the Orleans Parish School Board and the state of Louisiana, I confer upon you the diplomas to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges attached thereto. Please acknowledge your new status by moving your tassel from the right of your mortarboard to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 graduates of Benjamin Franklin High School. 
You are no longer seniors, you're graduates, you're alumni. Equally important to these diplomas that you take with you are the friendships that you take with you. You have a special definition of friendship because of the shared experiences that you've had with others in your class. And you know that our differences enrich our lives. You take with you knowledge. You have taken and passed difficult courses. You have applied your knowledge to research, problem solving, critical thinking, and creativity. You've learned new skills and new talents that you didn't know you had. You take with you the value of service. Service to friends in need, service to those whom you do not know, but you who need your help. Service to building your community. And you take with you confidence. Remember, if you can accomplish what you have done in these past years, you can accomplish anything that you set your mind and your heart to. And I hope you take with you a sense of gratitude. Everything that you have achieved has in some measure the sacrifice and support of others mixed in. You did not get to this day on your own, nor will you achieve your dreams on your own. Always remember to say thank you. And finally, please know that you take a bit of us with you. All that the Franklin faculty and staff have invested in you. Be proud of Franklin. Continue to make us proud of you. You are Franklin. And now, let's close with a special moment from the pre-pandemic life here in our Franklin community. 